Oh, you son of a gun game. You must have known I was going to spend so much time on the island today that you just decided to give me one last gift. Hello, my friend. Hello. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of you. But yes, everybody, today is the day. At least I'm 99% sure today is the day that we will say good whoop, that we will say goodbye to Wilbur here. And we're going to be spending a lot of time on Skull Island. Oh, man, it still looks so weird to me. So weird to me. Skull Island, baby. We have a lot, a lot of work to do. Good news, though. We do know what we're doing. Oh, frick me, everybody. Frick me, frick me, frick me. It's the frickin' apocalypse. Uh, okay. I was gonna hop worlds and say, hey, look, everybody. People told me that under refinement, where is it? Where I, I don't know where it is. That we're able to make uh, thingamadoogies. I don't even know where the heck it is. This. <laughs> the saplings. I was going to be like, oh yeah, dude. Good thing I'm a pooping monkey. I got poop for days because I haven't been making farms. And I got these. But uh, okay. Okay. Um, this is this is actually very concerning. <laughs> I did not anticipate this. We... Oh, frick. And I got like nothing. Uh, okay. First things first. Should probably get rid of this apocalypse, right? You know what? Totally egregious. Probably not going to work how I think it's going to work, but it's still going to be fun. Because if this is our final episode anyway, might as well use some of these, right? <laughs> might as well use some of these. So I came back to ship right there, hopped back, got some coffee, right? Right. So I might as well just go speed racer, man. Just rush my way to the apocalypse calendar, turn this thing off. Hopefully the obsidian machete cuts things faster. Because, oh crap, yes, we're going to have to deal with the freaking uh, survival, not survival, ancient pig ghost things. Oh boy, this was, <laughs> this threw a wrench into today's plans, man, and I'm loving it. By the way, random, and I don't really think I'm going to show it off, but, 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 if you do have connected worlds, right, and you can get elephant cacti in the hamlet, and the apocalypse shows up, it is a masterful way to deal with the constant bat waves. It is so, so good. Might have to use it, but I'm really solely counting on the fact that, ooh, hold up. Maybe it is a good idea to wait for the first bat wave and then rush my way. Yeah, that's probably a better idea. I think so. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna chill in base. <laughs> I'm just gonna chill in base for a little bit. Wait for the first bat wave, and then run my patooty off with speed galore to the apocalypse calendar. Oh, that's kind of annoying. I have to do these one at a time? Yes, I do. Oh, no, 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 don't build that. Oof, I was thinking I'd be able... Okay, well, that's just two extra things I gotta bring over to Hamlet or uh, Shipwreck. Gosh darn it, I can't keep them straight anymore. Two other things I gotta uh, keep over. But thank you, by the way. Thank you to the people who told me that you are actually able to make these cork trees because that, uh, that changes things. That also means... We got some more turf in the do because I got to get some of that turf. But yes, again, I'm just waiting for the first bat wave because I'm pretty sure they're daily in the apocalypse. So, yep, that's why I just don't want to get caught off guard when I'm over there, if you know what I mean. Well, I waited the day, everybody, and nothing happened. So I guess it's just time. I just got to do it. I'm just wasting time here. Now, here's the problem. <laughs> here is oh, the problem. If I can avoid these ghosts, I'm going to avoid these ghosts. It's just simple as that. Oh, okay. I'm going to have you guys open that for me, will you? Come all the way over here, and then we'll go the other way, and then you open the door for me. That's what it's going to be. Okay, open it, open it, open it. Yep, good. That's what I'm going to do, everybody. Oh, this one's open already. Yep. <laughs> no! Okay, it's just going to be a constant battle. <laughs> Constant battle between opening these doors or not. Come over here, everybody. Come over here. Oh, and the obsidian machete for the win, everybody. It only takes two. It takes two. Oh, I need to... Mm, this, this is a tougher room. Okay, I need you guys down here. But yeah, the, this is exactly why I brought the obsidian machete. Because I do not have the time to fuss around with four hits per. Watch this. Well, ow. Watch this. Just go... Boo. Nope, don't pick that up. Don't pick that up. Don't pick that up. <laughs> okay, okay. Not good, not good. Trust me, it only takes two swings. Stop picking up the frickin' twigs. Oh, and of course, everybody, now the bat wave, right? Now, of course, is when the bat wave shows up. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna rush to it. I think the calendar is only a room or two away. Let's turn this thing off. Then I'll deal with the frickin' bats, all right? Here they come, by the way, here they come. Ooh, that got a little scary at the end there, actually. 
the ghosts hit for 15 each, so I got hit by a couple of them. And some of these last two rooms were the rooms that uh, had the darts. So the ghosts were activating the darts. Yikes, Amundo. But, uh, okay, got to do this. Perfect. Beautiful. But there we go, everybody. Oof. That surprise apocalypse. <laughs> surprise apocalypse is now over. Time to actually get to work. But, yes, oh, my gosh. I was a genius for bringing the... Um, uh, Obsidian Machete, dude. Oh, that just made my life so much easier. Well, everybody, that was exciting. But as far as our regularly scheduled program, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not gonna be as exciting. It's gonna be a lot of pitchforking, still a lot of transportation, because I gotta get all these dang lanterns over there now, which that's a whole thing that I kind of forgot about. Also, remember, it's monsoon season. That's a problem. That is, that's a big problem. It's going to cause so many problems with the building. Oh boy, today is going to be interesting. Was going to come back and finally say, all right, folks, time to get to work after transporting a million thousand lanterns over here. <laughs> but no, because guess why? All this turf, and we still don't have enough turf. Because now that I know I can make some of these things out of these two things, I gotta go back to Hamlet to get all that kind of turf. Oh boy. Almost, folks. Almost time to start building. Oh man. It's moments like what just happened when I wish this was live. So, first things first. When I was hopping worlds to bring materials, I misclicked three times in a row. I went from Hamlet to Survival, Survival to Hamlet, then Hamlet to Survival again, and then I finally got the shipwrecked, only to then drop off the stuff at the island to come to the realization that I don't even think I have enough turf for the initial part of this build. <laughs> I don't think I have enough of the rainforest turf. Because remember now, remember now, uh, I'm using the rainforest turf. Oh, you know what I must have been thinking about? I must have been thinking of the Weber playthrough. Yeah, I got all this turf, that turf, all that stuff. Didn't get enough of this turf, right? <laughs> I need to plant all these purpley trees or these pink trees. Then I don't have this bloody turf. Oh man, I'm an idiot. To think that an hour into this recording, I am finally starting everybody. But again, I do have a plan and I will check in with you after every stage of the build is complete. But first up, Time to become the Hermit of the Forbidden Forest. Well, it took an hour, everybody, but let me give you the tour of part one of the build. This is the entrance to the Forbidden Forest. It's going to be on the south side of the hamlet, I imagine. We're going to start working on the hamlet going that way. But this is the Forbidden Forest, everybody. We walk in, it's going to be dense. Once all these are grown, it's going to look even better. We might have some lights on the road. And then this is my private port. My little private port that I can just, uh, well, <laughs> port my boats in. And then we keep going this way, yada, yada, yada. Then I had some fun, had some exotic plants in my own little area down here, because remember, this is where I live, the hermit of the Forbidden Forest, the only one who can enter into the uh, Skull portion of Skull Island, and this little spot right here, I had a neat little thing, I don't know, it's kind of a little too close to the house maybe, I was going to make like a, a penned in area with the doidoys right here, considering that certain... Uh, civilians of the hamlet were permitted to come and help them, you know, tame them, feed them, all that jazz, and then leave them here. And then they would do that work for me. Then I take them to the middle of the skull and then, uh, you know, <laughs> murder them, even though that's not really what's going to be happening. But that's the deal. But that's only part one. And like I said, this took an hour. This took an hour. And I even knew what I was doing. Oh boy. So now the question is. Do I make this recording potentially three and a half to four hours long and finish this entire thing? Or does Shipwrecked Saturday live one more week? The issue is, I don't know how long this video is. <laughs> Probably not very long. The beginning was hectic. We got things going on. But like I said, you've now not seen me for an entire hour. So I got to make a decision. Either I just plow through it. Or maybe I lay the groundwork for the Hamlet, and then we call it quits. But chances are, yeah, Shipwreck lives another week, everybody, I think. You know what? If this was a live stream, I would just plow right through it, right? But since it's not a live stream, 
and I kind of have some things to do. I think I'm just going to celebrate our first little, uh, exc first little excursion into building an entire, whoop, building up an entire little place. I forgot I'm on water, oof. Yeah, I'm on water, and I have the backpack, this is gonna hurt. Okay, uh, let's not die, actually, beer. Let's not die. Hey, can you come here? That's better. This is much better. Now I can actually kite you. <laughs> now I can actually kite you. Jesus, that was gonna be really bad. Okay. Uh, yep, just to celebrate, I'm gonna kill myself some bosses. Why not? Down goes the tiger shark for what? Like the 50 million time now? Once again, everybody. Oh, raw fish. Oh, darn it. I can't cook it here, though. <laughs> can't cook it here. Because I don't have anything on my inventory to help me do that. Okay, so that's one boss down. Hey, everybody, why not jump the Reign of Giants <laughs> for Pete's sake? We haven't been in Reign of Giants for ages. Let's go see what's going on. Ah, shucks. It's spring, and it kind of almost, not really, started like six days ago. I was going to say, hey, if it's uh, winter, maybe we can get a clops kill. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah, nah. Let's actually just head back to Shipwrecked and wrap it up, folks. This is probably going to be a pretty short episode. Uh, not what I was anticipating. Obviously, but the good news is, is that next week, next week we can just automatically begin building. There's nothing in our way anymore. We have everything over there. Everything is over there and ready. I just got to start building and thankfully next week we can do that. Problem is, uh, and it's kind of a big problem, uh, season is not going to be super kind to me. <laughs> it's going to be dry season uh, in a day. So, yeah, that's a whole thing. Oh, did I say dry season in a day? I guess I meant dry season right flipping now. Okay, this is, um, this is starting to not be great. <laughs> and it's both amazing. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. I just want to build in peace. I just want to build in peace. And you know what? You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I think I know what I'm going to do. Something I don't ever, ever do, but I think I'm just going to do it. Unless, of course, you guys vote otherwise, which honestly would be fine by me. It's either I play offline and just get through dry season, you know, just appeasing the volcano whenever I need it and then doing nothing else. Or I suffer through having to try to build this entire island into a Hamlet Island while dealing with dry season. <laughs> which one's going to be, everybody? Vote. Vote for what you want down below. But thank you so much for watching, folks. Sorry I couldn't really get through everything I wanted to do today. Trust me, I had no idea. I really had no idea. First of all, the apocalypse starting at the beginning. And then how long this would honestly take me. Uh, this first initial part. But honestly, I'm liking it already. I have an idea of what we're going to do. And it's coming together. Going to be so much fun. But yes, folks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.